Hey everybody, Paulie here, and today I'm going to cook some ch chicken, spatchcock chicken, out in the 22 inch Weber grill. So here you see chicken. Now you see I had it in the brine, that was for about 45 minutes, ingredients listed below. After I did the brine, I rinsed off that brine really good, if you don't, it's going to taste salty. Then I dried it really good with some paper towel, inside and out, and I put some mayonnaise all over that chicken, kind of a binder. Made my rub, ingredients listed below, and here you see the chicken about to go on the grill. So let's get to the video. Got the coals heated up. Gonna knock that ash down. Gonna open the door and let them in. Now it's time to bring in the star of the show. The chicken. Take note, I put the dark meat side closer to the coals because they take a little longer to cook. Yeah, I may turn the chicken around at some point. Almost forgot. I didn't put the, the smoking wood in there. Not too much. Eh. I'll put the vent over the chicken instead of the, the heat. Let's get a let's get a check of the temp. And it's still kind of stiff. See it's at a, a hundred twenty-five ish range keeping a great temperature I'm liking it A little higher than I want. I stoke it down. I think <clears throat> I had the bottom vent closed. Turn that one down. I decided to make some potatoes with the chicken. So I put some butter, garlic, pepper, salt, and threw it on the grill in this foil. What is going on out here? Oh, it's mama and the babies. Don't worry, I'm not gonna. You guys know me better than that. Oh, we got a little mark on the side. Okay, leave you guys alone. Eat the grass. Let's take a look at, at what I got going on. Oh man, the beauty of that. Pretty soon I'll be getting a temp reading on that. See how it is. myself a little lower half get some dark meat get that 
Now I'm gonna get some of those potatoes. Okay, let's dig in. One of my favorite ingredients for grilling. Got a little bit of cayenne in there. I can feel my lips heating up. Very good. Potatoes are spot on. All I need now is a little drink of my Coke Zero. Till next time, I'm Polly. Never trust a skinny cook. <laughs>